Yeah, YouTube. So, um, I want to do a quick review of my 2016 Cat, Cat 12 um, in black and primer gray. Um, got this bike uh, a few days ago. Um, my first ride on it was this morning. Did 45 miles on it. And I just wanted to give a um, quick review of noticeable differences on this bike and the ones that stands out to me more um, than my previous Kia 10. I want to start with the fork first. Um, if you notice, the fork is slimmer than the previous Cat 10. Um, the first thing I noticed this morning is how well the front of the bike track and how smooth it was. And, and I'm thinking that uh, that is contributing to uh, the fork uh, that is on here that is different. Um, it's really compliant in the front um, with the fork and um, um, I was very um, impressed with that. Um, the tubing, um, let's talk about that a little, a little here. Um, the tubing itself on the top tube there, um, it starts out on the top um, at a wider point at the top and then it tapers down to the back um, there. Um, with my cab 10, um, used to be that my legs would rub on the top tube there sometimes because of how wide it was in the back. That is not a problem anymore on, um, on my cab 12. Um, the seat stays uh, is thin right there and then down towards the bottom it's kind of more rounded at the bottom there even the chain stays are a little different um, Cannondale or they're calling it asymmetric um, chain stays um, along with the C2 post there is um, slimmer right there and then down at the bottom it's wider than the cat 10 even the bottom bracket is wider than the Cat 10. The down tube is also different from the Cat 10, shapes differently. Um, and then so, um, um, the whole frame uh, to me is redesigned. And um, the biggest improvement that I've come away with um, riding this thing 45 miles is how smooth it was in the front and the back. And um, I purposely ride it on some chip and seal stuff today. And I was just blown away up on how the bike soaks up all the bumps. Um, and I had to, I had to look uh, twice, make sure that I, I was still on an aluminum bike, you know. Um, this is how good the bike rides. Um, now, as far as cornering and, and handling and uh, accelerating, getting up to speed and all of that, um, it, it's the same, uh, if not a little bit better than you could uh, expect from the CAD 10. If you have ever ridden a Cat 10 or owned a Cat 10, you know what I'm talking about. It's a superb handling bike, and for the money, you can't beat it. Um, I rode this bike, also tried it with the Mavic Axioms that came on here, and the bike still rolled smoothly uh, on those wheels, and that's just a testament to how good 
this bike is and how good it soaks up the rough stuff. Um, I don't know how uh, they get an aluminum bike to ride the way this rides, but I'm telling you right now, um, on my way um, before picking up this bike, I took those wheels and um, take them with me to the giant dealer, uh, Trek dealer uh, here in town and um, you know tried the Damani and all these other bikes, uh, nice riding bikes with the same wheels um, and I come back and, and went to the Cannondale dealer and put this same wheel here on the Cat 12 and then uh, let me tell you um, this bike is not giving up an inch to those carbon bikes um, it's awesome riding bike the way it rides um, it is smooth it exhilarates it holds speeds really well and I'm just blown away by how good this bike um, you know rides uh, I was like kind of skeptical I was like and could Cannondale really do better than the Cat 10 I was asking myself and like I said the the, the most noticeable difference on the 12 to me is how smooth it is it's really smooth butter smooth you know um, on the way it rides and soak up the stuff uh, and you you could I did 45 miles on this bike and came back and I still was fresh you know so it, it's an awesome riding bike it, it goes up the, the hills really nice descends really well uh, you know just as you would expect uh, uh, the, you know a cab to do it especially um, seeing, seeing that this bike is a newer version of the cat 10 you know so I'm not surprised at how well it descends and climb and all of that so um, you know that is my quick review um, I just want to do a quick review here and how oh, yes um, uh, this bike has assists right now pedals water cage bottle cages and all um, this is a size 56 centimeter frame it weighs 16 pounds exactly and um, this bike would easily be low 15 pound um, if I was supposed to change the seat post, uh, you know, change the seat post out, um, which is pretty heavy, and um, you know, some other things like that. SI crank, uh, because this SI crank is is not really um, the same as the hologram. You know, it's a little bit heavier than hologram. I won't say a little bit, but quite a bit heavier. It's like 141 grams more than hologram crank. It's, it's still not bad. You know, it's, um, this crank is lighter than the Force and Untangler crank, crank um, now. So it's still not bad, but you know, it just could be lighter. And also, I'm running Rival group set. 105 came on this bike, but I changed it out to the SRAM Rival 22. I like the, sh the shifting of SRAM better. That's a, just a personal preference. There's nothing wrong with Shimano. Um, and also, I, I, I liked that the Rival 22 had the gray in there that matches the gray on the bike. So it looks really nice on there. And so as you can see there, the gray matches the gray on the bike from the rival group so um, that is pretty good and you know just want to do a quick review like I said and um, uh, thanks for watching and if you have a cat 12 and um, you know just let me know um, uh, your thoughts and 
what uh, you think the bike does better than the Cat 10, you know, just share it with me. And thanks for watching.